those of you who are seated behind, maybe the cameras could show the movements. Thank you. That was just a few forms to give you an idea of the Tai Chi movements. They're slow and gentle, usually slower than this, and there's not enough space, so we had to improvise. So the whole sequence takes about 21 minutes. Here we did it for about two minutes, not a win. All right, now I invite you to come back you know, to a standing position. As we did the Qigong form this morning, we discovered the opening form in Qigong and in Tai Chi. Many of the Tai Chi forms actually start from the lower Dantian going upwards. So it's going to be similar. For those of you who have done the Qigong, it's going to be easy. This time we won't repeat six times. That was in the Qigong sequence that we did. And uh, so let's begin with the Tai Chi forms. Firstly, getting into your Wuji stance. So in the Wuji, you have your feet shoulder width distance apart, knees are soft, your spine is gentle and soft. Gently tilt your pelvis inwards and upwards, the coccyx as well. And just Get in touch with your breath. Wuji or nothingness or stillness 
no polarities. Just noticing your breath. And with each inhalation and exhalation, notice the movements in the body. Open your eyes and we start with the opening form. Chi. Breathing in, raise your arms up to shoulder level. Folding at the elbow, gently start to press down as if you're pressing down a basketball or a hemisphere. Hold for a few seconds. We repeat. And yeah, staying there. Now I'm just going to break up and do some footwork. From the Wuji, as I mentioned, came about the yin and the yang. So I'm just going to demonstrate. I won't have the mic when I'm stepping back now. You can just watch and I'll just talk about it. Could you show my feet to the camera? Is it possible? So, I want us to do it step by step. Firstly, you're going to pivot your heel, your right heel 45 degrees. And as you do that, you're also going to transfer weight, sink into the right. So the left is emptying out and the right is filling in. When I begin at the Wuji stance, I have my weight evenly distributed on both legs. From here, keeping the spine erect, I gently start to transfer weight as I sink. Here, I have 99% weight on my right leg. I'm ready to lift off the left. Okay, let's break up and do that first. Once again. If you prefer it, I could do a mirror image. You want me to work with my left? Or is this okay? It's fine. Okay, so, pivoting gently and transferring weight, emptying out the weight to the right. Now, gently lifting off the left, left leg, extend it straight forward 90 degrees, turn slightly and transfer weight forward. Knee on par with the toe, not overshooting and both your feet are firmly planted on the ground. Okay, you're grounded. Let's do that once again. With me. So. Pivoting 45 degrees and transferring weight to the right. Gently stepping forward, looking straight. So your left leg is coming straight. Let your body be rooted. Okay, so don't lift off your heel. Both the wee feet are planted to the ground. Okay, is, is that good? So I'm going to incorporate the hand movements. So each of these movements have an offense and defense technique. 
the idea is for that so that you would be able to understand what you're doing this is not for combat okay i mean what i teach is to harmonize the body mind and soul it's much more to center you it's much more for relaxation so i'm going to just explain to you what the hand movements would mean I'm going to show you a little demo in slow motion, of course. This side with it. So say someone, this is, uh, say someone is coming to me in a punch. I'm just going to ward off and use his force to offset him. So when force comes to you, you don't counter force with force. You actually gently, gently move around it and dissolve it and let it move away. So this is what we're doing with Tai Chi. So say someone is coming to me in a punch, I'm just going to show you that. Okay, is that, is that good? Maybe you need another angle. Another angle? Right. So I'd like us to, yeah, thank you. I'd like you to do that now. Just work on the work on the hands now. Just visualize someone coming to you in a punch. So we start after the opening form. You're gently warding off. It's the movements in Tai Chi are circular. You're coming back to the lower dantian and from here moving upwards. Now make sure that your hands are not locked. Okay, the elbows are soft and even the hands here push soft very nice let's do that again just the right hand circling around coming down towards the lower dantian and from the lower dantian i move up towards the solar plexus of my opponent right so what makes Tai Chi different from a relaxing dance form? When you practice Tai Chi, you always have a sense of opponent. In all of the forms, you're alert and you're looking out as if there is an opponent coming. So these movements are done keeping this in mind, okay? So which is why you might ask me, what am I doing now in the next move, you know? So before that, I was just giving you a cue so say someone is also coming to me with a knife and also coming to punch me okay this is just a situation So we're going to use also the left hand. The left hand, presuming that the knife was in this level, is also opening out. The right hand is warding away a punch and the left hand the knife. And then both hands converge into the lower dantian and from here you move up to the, to the middle dantian, okay, of the solar plexus. You can do a feather touch there. So once more, let's do the hand movements. One. Warding off, left and right. Two, both hands converging inwards. Right hand pushing behind the left. Okay, so now can we combine this with the leg movements we learned? Let's do that. Firstly, starting with the opening form. Chi. Breathe in, raising your arms up to shoulder level. Breathe easy. Soft and gentle. Slender breaths. Breathe out. From here, as you walk. 
ward off, you also pivot and sink, step soft and transfer your weight. Okay, so we, we, we do that once again slow. Is that is that good? Okay. So, um, are you ready to learn a little more? Okay. So, we have some time. Yes. So the next, this these forms are observations that the great masters have made from animal offense and defense techniques. After the opening form, this form is called grasping the peacock's tail. Okay, thereafter, you have several names that resemble animal forms. White crane spreads its wings, return to the mountain with the tiger and so on. But today we'll stay with a little bit. A little bit that you can actually experience and take home for yourself is what my object would, would be. Okay, so let's do this once again. And then the next part of it. Okay, so from here, you're going to pivot on your right heel and turn your waist to your right. So that would be the direction. Okay, you can just watch me once first. And now I'll do a mirror image with you. Maybe that works better. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. From here, pivoting on your right heel. Nice. Can we repeat that once more? Once more. Chi. on your right heel, 45 degrees, gently stepping forward, transferring weight to your right, your left heel. And now pivoting on your right and looking to the right. Okay, come back to position. So, Basically, the movements are slow and gentle, but each of these movements, each of these forms have offense and defense techniques, you know, like I told you. So, I just would uh, like to do a little demo of how when someone comes with you, 
comes to you with force how you offset it he's pushing me and he has nothing to push he's going to go off balance okay so if i wanted to at that moment when he is coming to 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 push me and he actually uses all his force he's also losing his balance okay so another thing is the push and techniques but before before we do that we'll just do a little demo for you of how you center yourself you're rooted and when you're rooted it's not easy to throw you off balance so so if you notice when he's coming with force all i'm doing is to root myself and we will just show you a one hand push push and technique i have this little difficulty holding a mic and doing the demo so so here i am staying rooted and he starts to apply force so if you notice he's coming in with a lot of force and i'm i'm not exerting myself i'm not using muscular power instead i'm rooting myself go on so when it is too much for me to bear or if i cannot take it any more keep doing i just have to take more of balance so i'm using his force and countering his force and throwing him off balance so this is the offense and defense part of it okay just to show you that so i guess we will stay with this and um thank you